Hello my friends, thank you so so much for tuning in and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jen and I love all things color. We talk about makeup, skincare, sunscreens, all of it. For today's video, we're going to be doing a lip swatch of a brand, brand new release. So if you like these kinds of content, definitely consider giving this video a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. Uh, so it's Dior. Dior has come out with a brand new lipstick and this is part of their Dior Addict line. So this is the lip tint. Like three or four years ago, I tried the Dior lip tattoos and they were actually quite good. Not like longest lasting. They're no, not like a uh, liquid lipstick, transfer proof liquid lipstick, no. But uh, this was this is kind of like a sister product, so to speak. So I, I really wanted to give it a try and they don't have a lot of shades, like five to six shades. And I saw the swatches, lip swatches in the models. The colors looked really vibrant. To be honest, that's what drew me to purchasing the product because the colors looked so vibrant. They kind of looked lighter, but on the lip swatch, they looked so vibrant. So that really well caught my attention. So here we are. So Dior Lip Addict Lip Tint. This is called Lip Tint the old formula i think it's still there i'm not sure lip tattoos uh so this is a hydrating colored tint transfer proof and it gives you a bare lip sensation that those are like their selling main selling unique selling propositions more like so hydrating transfer proof and then it gives you like a so lightweight a bare lip sensation so you get five milliliters of product which is all right it's actually a good it's, it's, it's a good amount and I got the, in the shade natural peach and this retail uh, retail retails for um, 35 38 somewhere in, the, in that price range over 35 for definitely and where is this made made in France so it just comes like in a box like this a dark navy blue box and then even, even the box itself has some kind of a texture actually but unfortunately we usually throw these things out but even the paper is like so like do you hear that <laughs> this is a product it has like dior emboss and um, kind of this the silver top this doorknob kind of things kind of washing it out but you can see the dior uh like embossed on the product and i believe these are color coded not all pack uh, all of them are not in the same color story not the same exact packaging what am i saying so the darker colors i think they have a different color uh so because this is like a peach shade i think so i'm not entirely sure i'm so sorry uh but because uh, the one i picked is like natural peach and the color is also similar to this so i got it usually i will not pick a color like this but I'm telling you, the swatches on the on Sephora's uh, website, the colors looked so vibrant and so like bright. So I was, I really was like, I wanted to challenge Dior, and I picked a lighter color, a color which I wouldn't pick, especially when it's like a lip tint or a lip, like a stain. I would probably go for a darker color, but this time I went with a lighter color, like similar to what I'm wearing right now. So yeah. And uh, yes, that's it. I think it's 251 Natural Peach. Let me quickly show you what it is, that silver doorknob kind of a packaging. And then it actually comes with, oh, it doesn't come with anything. I believe I saw, um, oh wait, it just, because I wanted to show you guys this caution thing that they, uh, that, that it says. It does have a light, slight tingling sensation, the product, but it's not exactly plumping or anything. It's not marketed that way, but they say that if you feel anything other than a tingling sensation, stop using the product. So that's kind of like a warning that they kind of give you in the packaging itself. And it also came like with a paper where it said, stop using if it gives you anything other than a tingling sensation. And it smells like, um, like a very alcoholic, I don't know, on the lips it kind of uh, uh, smelled like a fell, smelled like a chocolate chip mint, kind of a, like a vanilla mint. But now I just don't smell that for some reason. It's very strange. On my lips I have the Balm's um, 
actually this is also a creamy lip stain more like a creamy liquid lipstick this is in the shade konichiwa it's a beautiful product so that's what we have here i want to do um lip swatches i'm sorry the um kissing test at the at the very end of the video because it i want to show you guys what it looks like after it kind of sets after i speak and all those things so that way i think i want to swatch it first oh you know what that's fine do that's what it looks like just like a paddle so that is just one swatch that's just one swatch sorry that was a different product very pretty to be honest such a beautiful beautiful shade it looks lighter but at the same time it's it has some kind of a depth and it's also vibrant i really 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 liked it I'm just gonna quickly put it on so one la coat and i was like this looks nothing like what i saw on sephora's page i was like no nah, this is not what i saw on the, on the website then that's just one layer right it's just very that's this is like basically my lips but but better kind of a look but you can definitely i don't even i'm i'm not waiting for it to set i'm just going in with a second layer now you see a little bit of vibrancy i really like this oh no i wanted to wait until i said that after the swatch now that's two layers again i'm not exact it's actually qu quickly setting but you can still see that the product is still wet on the lips so i'm going to go with another layer now three layers this is the vibrancy i saw on sephora's uh product page three layers is pretty good actually it looks really nice in spite of being a lighter shade this does not have a white base a lot of these uh, products the lighter you go it'll have like a white milky base to it and it will settle in the lines of the looks and look just horrendous but this one does not have a you know like a white base it's not milky at all like i said it it's a vibrant color look at that that's just like one layer and that's the there's no transfer look at that there's no transfer there's no transfer at all that's just one layer but since my lips are darker i went with three layers to get this kind of vibrancy but if your li your lips are lighter or like uh, doesn't have any color to it at all or pinky you i think one one layer should be should do the do the trick so yeah so uh let's quickly talk about the formula and at the very end i will do like a kiss test and i will show you guys and then also my experience with how it wears with a mask because i did want to try because the longevity is quite good that i wanted to you know really want to check with the mask on because i usually don't really do a mask test because things really don't last but this time i really did so um it's it's setting quite nicely and there is um very like a cooling sensation that's what i mean by tingling to be honest it's not irritating it's not like burning nothing like that it's actually a very cooling sensation it's really good incredibly lightweight it's actually quite moisturizing too even after like long hours of wear it's quite moisturizing and um it does not settle in the lines of the lips even if it does because this doesn't have a milky lay milky base for being such a light color you don't really see that settlement at all it just looks like a very even layer of lipstick look at that it looks so 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 even I really really like it it's like also moisturizing as well so uh very lightweight the application is very even not streaky at all look at that such a light color does not look streaky and not a milky kind of a, a color story or like a base it's not like a milky white starky base nothing like that it's really good and what else 
Longeberry is really, really, really good. It's set now, I think. I think let's do a kiss test. Nothing. It's actually, compared to the Dior's lip tattoo, the longevity on this is actually really, really good. I like this better than Dior's lip tattoo. The lip tint is really, really good. And, oh, sorry, guys. <coughs> I had a little something in my throat. Uh, what I want to say is that uh, after a little bit of transfer, you know, it kind of looks like a, like a moisturizing layer. Hang on. I'm hearing some sound. All right, getting back to the video. Lightweight, moisturizing, absolutely phenomenal. Uh, the staying power is amazing. And even with numerous, numerous kiss tests. And now that uh, kind of like a glossy layer is also left after doing like three or four kiss tests. But still, when I press my lips together, it's so moisturizing. I cannot believe that Dior nailed well, Dior does good lipsticks, but my personal favorite is YSL for lipsticks. But Dior seriously nailed this formula. They, they It doesn't feel like a very silicone-y, dry slip, nothing. It's so incredibly moisturizing. I really, really, really like it. One second. Yeah, I really, really like it. Two thumbs up, A+. plus. If there's a rating above A+, plus, I would give it like 100% absolutely phenomenal formula really like it mm, after like i what i did like three or four let's do five six i did uh i did wear mask with this and uh there was very incredibly very little transfer like barely and still there was so much evenness in the product on the lips it didn't look streaky or nothing like that and still, it looks like my lips, right? It, that that tint looks very natural. I'm not going to lie. The tint looks so incredibly natural. It looks like my lips. Let me kind of uh, quickly use this to take it off. And then you'd see the staying power. Because I did three layers, it does stain your lips. I'm using a wet wipes, actual wet wipe pampers. I'm taking it off. I'm not rubbing too, too much, but still... It stains your lips so this tint is not really going anywhere <laughs> to be honest and throughout the day uh, you're gonna have this tint and you can always touch up now when you already have this tint you just need like one layer right you don't need no don't even need a lot first I did three layers but now I just need one it's a really good cool 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 product and I really I'm in love with this shade, to be honest. This shade just works like magic on my skin tone. And even if you have darker skin tone, it's going to look phenomenal. Really looks very sun-kissed. So I can go on and on and on about how amazing this lip product is. But all I can say is get it. Just get it. It's not drying. Not even a little bit, guys. It's not drying. And it doesn't accentuate any dry lips or any kind. It doesn't even settle in the lines of the lips. It's a really, really good product absolutely recommend it so i'll see you guys very soon